So, um, tonight we've seen a fantastic show. What oh, was it you. that we saw? Huh? What was it that you showed us? Well, everything. What I am and what we are. Uh, in music, you know, when you get into it, there's nothing that is as good as music that can make people think positive. That's what I think. What did you think about the Swedish audience tonight? <coughs> Fantastico. You remember, I've always said in my interviews that if I had my way, I would adopt two million Swedish people to come and live in my country. <laughs> And uh, 25 years since Graceland, uh, how does it feel to play those songs now? It feels like yesterday, and yet it's 25 years ago. It feels like yesterday. Isn't it fantastic that after 25 years these songs still mm -hmm. work so well? I mean, there you are. Uh, Graceland has come back into... In the top five albums around the world, it's been released, but from a different angle. It's got a, I think it has a DVD, you know, it's a whole package. And it deserves it. But what do you, what do you think is the power with Graceland that makes it so big? It's the Af African rhythm. That African rhythm that is always scrutinized when they listen to it. But with Graceland, it's so simple, it's danceable, it's joyful, it's very lyrical. And what is uh, Paul Simon's um, uh, thing in this? Yeah, I mean, he, he, I mean, he collaborated with, um, with we, Africans, and especially South Africans, Ray Piri, Bagiti, and, um, and Black Mambazo. I mean, Black Mambazo wouldn't have been there and getting the Grammys and the rest of the awards if Paul Simon hadn't sort of put them together so that they could do something. Is it any way of, to evaluate uh, the thing that he did for promoting African music to the US and the world? Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. I think there's a lot. At least it brought some attention to to a lot of people who didn't um, know what African music. I mean, Africa has got so much music, it's unreal. With Graceland, it's just a little touch of it. You get my point? Yeah. See? It's, it's just a touch. Africa has got so much rhythm, it's unreal. I mean, jazz wouldn't be there if it wasn't of the Africans. That's true. Well, what was the biggest highlight uh, during this tour? Um, everywhere where, where we've been. I mean, we started in, in, in Ireland, and boy, it's been a sellout. Everything is sellout. What more do you want? Tell me about London. Uh -huh. Oh, London. London was, oh dear, dear, my dear. <laughs> It was so splendid. I mean, we had almost 100,000 people. 100,000 people. Mm -hmm. And Paul McCartney was there? And um, uh, Sir Paul McCartney was there, and he just had a ball. He had been playing, he, he played with uh, Bruce Springsteen the previous night. <laughs> and and they, they unplugged him. They just put off the system. But when he came to us, because we, we were there right on time and, you know, did the program. And it was wonderful to meet him. What a great guy he is. He's a wonderful guy. So it's not over yet. What are the future plans for the Graceland Tour? Uh, going to Norway. And when we do that, we go back home and then take the Graceland back to South Africa we have about four four gigs and maybe there might be five because I would like the idea of taking it to Botswana where I come from and if it happens I'll be happy. What does it mean to you if it happens in Botswana? 
I'm like, Ooh, what's up? I'm humping. <laughs> John, I'm like, I'm happy. John, yeah. how come you first started to play with Paul Simon? What is the story? The story of me playing with Paul Simon. Paul Simon, every time when I had my band and, and backing up uh, playing with Hugh Masekela in the 80s, he used to come to the clubs that we were playing in New York because at that particular time, my band that was backing Hugh, we made a hit called Don't Go Lose It Baby. So it was trailing behind Prince's um, Purple, Purple Rain. Purple Rain, yeah, during those days. And um, we were playing in, uh, in New York, and Paul is a soft. At that time, he was a very sociable person. He just, you know. And uh, when Graceland came in, I was in Zimbabwe with um, other artists, Hugh Masekela, Jonas Gwangwa, uh, Kefa Semenya, of the Michael Jackson um, album. Nakupenda we Nakupenda Sana. I can't remember what, what the title is. And, um, you know, and when he called, he said, I would like John to be there. So anything else is history. Why do you think you get so well together, you and, and Paul? I mean, musical wise. If, if you're in music, I think it's easier to be broad minded and to be open minded. Don't put yourself into a, uh, a cocoon, you, you know, like, just be open-minded, play any music, then it becomes easier. It's easier to work with other people because I always say in the African context, you have elephant ears. You know the elephant can hear a sound that is 10 miles away. And it can smell ants <laughs> three miles away. You know those um, elephant ants, the ones that have got... When they get into that trunk, that's the end of the elephant. That's it. <laughs> that's the end of the That's Baghetti. <laughs> the funky bass player. Oh my god, man. You don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, God, it is enough. <laughs> now you are the superstar. Now we want to drink, we want to talk a little bit loud now. We can't talk loud, so we like whispering.